Now we have the Australian national anthem. Congratulations on your graduation. What a wonderful achievement. It's a very big milestone in your life, and I wish you all the best. Now the question is, you are about to start the next chapter of your life, and that is finding a job. At KOI, Master of Accounting program and Master of Professional Accounting enables you to get that job that you wish for and build a career. On behalf of our IT faculty, I'd like to extend a huge congratulations to all of our graduates. You guys are incredible because you will apply the skills again from our course to work as a IT specialist, cybersecurity masters, to create a new era of IT globally and contribute to the entire society tremendously. Congratulations again, Class 2020. A hearty congratulations to all of you today who have graduated. And those in particular who have done TESOL, I'm sure you've gained your passport to the world of teaching. And with our internationally accredited courses, you will be able to teach in any country of the world. You will have a bright future and great career. I wish you all the best. First of all, I would like to convey my warmest congratulations to all the graduates of class 2020 on behalf of our IT faculty. So believe in yourself, there is nothing that you cannot accomplish. We wish you all the success for your bright and prosperous future. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Hello everybody. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Rex Walsh and I deliver business project at KOI. This is a real life business simulation with a global competition where KOI students perform outstandingly. Students also operate their own real-life business in preparation for going out into the world and doing great things. I'd just like to congratulate all the graduates. Enjoy your day. Take care. On behalf of all the teachers in business and management program, I would like to congratulate you and thank you for studying with us. We wish you all the best in your careers. Hope to see you as future CEOs, entrepreneurs of companies and startups as well as managers of multinationals or even starting having your own businesses. Welcome to King's Own Institute's 20th graduation ceremony. Due to the ongoing global pandemic, today's graduation will be a virtual ceremony. Many of you may remember at orientation I said, this is the start of your flight to success. There have been turbulent and challenging times, but today you have successfully landed at graduation. But guess what? This is only the first leg of your journey. You will have many more takeoffs and landings, much more to experience and achieve. In the words of Muhammad Ali, who was more than just a champion boxer, he who is not courageous enough to take a risk will accomplish nothing in life. You have already shown courage and strength of character as international students here at King's Own Institute, Sydney. On a more personal level, it's been a pleasure to have been part of your journey and to have contributed to your student life experience. I would now like to introduce Dr. Brian Spencer, AIBM Chair and Academic Board Member. In accordance with Australian tradition, I would like to acknowledge the Cadigal clan of the Eura people as the traditional owners of the land on which the King's Own Institute offers 
its teaching and where a small group of us gather today. Distinguished viewers, fellow directors, college staff, graduates, family and friends, it's my honour and pleasure to welcome you here today to the 20th graduation ceremony to be celebrated by the King's Own Institute. This virtual online ceremony has been created to replace the traditional face-to-face -face ceremony, which cannot be held because of the restrictions on travel and the assembly of large gatherings arising from the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, first and most importantly, I offer our warmest congratulations to our graduates. We acknowledge your achievements and share your pride and success on this important day. Secondly, I'd like to acknowledge the significant contributions which your mentors and your teachers have made to your academic success. And finally, I'd like to join you in paying tribute to the support and encouragement you've had from parents, family members and partners on this journey. Graduates, please join me in thanking all those who've played a part in your success. Now we spend considerable time each year reviewing KOI's strategic plan. Our vision is success in higher education through excellence and innovation. And alongside that vision, we define our mission is to be a leading education provider, distinguished for nurturing our students and preparing them for global careers. And we've identified the most important values to share with you are practical education, student-centred service, collaboration, innovative solutions and ethical principles. May I point out to you that you're now lifetime alumni of the King's Own Institute. It may only be a relatively young university level institution, just 10 years old, but it's one whose reputation for high academic standards and for the quality of care for its students is already well established and endorsed by the National Higher Education Regulator, that is the Tertiary Education Quality and Standards Agency, or TEXA as it's known. Now I am confident that as KOI continues to grow and its good reputation deservedly spreads, you will be proud to acknowledge KOI as the place where you studied and graduated. We hope you'll share your positive views of that experience with your family and friends, including the successful launch of safe, blended learning during a highly challenging time. I encourage you to keep in touch with us and support your alma mater. I don't need to remind you that we live in rapidly changing times. If we are to function successfully in this ever-changing environment, we must adapt and innovate throughout our lives. And as our jobs change, the skills we'll need will change too. <coughs> now, robots have long been taking over routine, repetitive and manual tasks. And many of the jobs that comprise these tasks are already disappearing. Next, artificial intelligence is taking over analysis and decision-making tasks. And humans will move into jobs composed of the tasks that machines aren't good at, such as interpersonal, creative and problem-solving work. And the data show that the fastest growing skills are the uniquely human trades, such as teamwork, empathy, adaptability, integrity, good communication and leadership. 
we'll need to work with intellectual and emotional intelligence that complements rather than competes with automation and artificial intelligence. And it's predicted that the provision of short training courses and informal on-the-job learning will need to be doubled in the next two decades. The clear message is that we should expect that future jobs will require lifelong learning and that universities and tertiary colleges will need to adapt to this demand by seizing the opportunity to meet student expectations to develop deep and transferable skills, especially at a time when we face the enormous challenge of economic recovery in countries around the world. Now, what does this mean for you? As graduates operating in various professional fields, you'll need to be ready to personally develop and exercise your leadership skills to enable you to contribute to the creation of new policy frameworks and the promotion of opportunities to advance human progress in health, social services, education, science, business and commerce. I don't need to remind you that you're graduating at this time in a world which is trying to manage disastrous health and economic challenges, political instability in some countries and humanitarian tragedies in others. At the same time, we note that increased prosperity in many countries in the Asia-Pacific region is still not equally shared but is accompanied by growing inequality of standards of living and a lack of equal opportunity for all, irrespective of economic and social background. And we've witnessed large numbers of people in a range of countries recently protesting against this continued discrimination. The trends underpinning this widening inequality will have to be counteracted using a variety of policy instruments and strong political leadership with increased commitments to the delivery of lifelong, inclusive and affordable education, healthcare and economic recovery at the centre of the effort to ensure improved equity and social mobility. Never has a graduating class been called to step into the future with more purpose, vision, passion, energy and hope. In today's world, it's essential that we maintain our sense of the bigger picture, for it's only then that we can make well-informed and ethical decisions. And the most successful way to keep that balanced overview of our world is to continuously look for new perspectives in our professions and to seek out new ways of helping our communities to operate as sustainable, civilised and supportive societies. For these reasons, I repeat, it's important for us to embrace the concept of lifelong learning. I hope you will never forget the importance of continuing to learn in a rapidly changing world. There is no doubt that we need smart, capable and adaptable young people such as you to help us make the most of the rapidly changing world I described earlier. Which is another way of saying, graduates, you have important responsibilities ahead of you. But let me say, with your attainments and your new skills, you're well prepared to meet the unprecedented challenges of our times. I wish you continued achievement in the fields you choose to follow, whether they be in this country or in distant places. Make sure you tell others about the benefits you enjoyed as KOI students. May I simply remind you that you've enjoyed the privilege of tertiary study and with that privilege, comes the responsibility of service to your community, wherever that may be. On behalf of all our viewers today, I offer our warm congratulations 
on your graduation from KOI. I wish you good health and the best of success in your future careers. Thank you. Dr Spencer, I certify that the candidates whose names appear in the printed program as graduates have met all the AIBM requirements for the degrees or awards specified against their names. In accordance with the constitution of AIBM, trading as the King's Own Institute, and in accordance with the authority given to me under that constitution, I welcome the graduates whose names appear in the printed program. I would now like to introduce adjunct professor, Dr. Doug Hinchliff, CEO and Dean and President of King's Own Institute. KOI, global in outlook, global in practice. As this 20th KOI graduation could not be conducted face to face due to ongoing pandemic health restrictions, inventiveness was necessary and a solution found through the use of technology, knowledge and experience in filming and the considerable determination of staff. We're able to suitably recognise and applaud the real achievements and successes of our graduates who are citizens from around the world and deserving of proud recognition in this virtual graduation ceremony. It is a celebration of much real effort, some true commitment and perseverance and with actual support that has made graduation possible. None of that is virtual. It is quite real. This graduation represents the positive, significant steps taken by our graduates in a constructive way through this higher education and learning experience towards securing a better life, a better way of life and possibly new directions in life. Video streaming allows friends and family located around the world to join in experiencing and recognising this proud and fulfilling moment in life and of course it represents a major part in the lifelong journey of learning. A graduation is a significant moment in time, highlighting individual success and none more so than with this virtual graduation caused by a major world event. This virtual graduation also shows how we can and we must be prepared to adapt to new, unexpected and challenging circumstances just as graduates can be expected to apply their learning and student knowledge and experience to cope with ever-changing work and career opportunities. Sustained online learning was a new experience for most of us, as with online assessment and online enrolment. You have clearly demonstrated an ability to adapt to new challenges and this will continue to be a strong measure of your development and that of the community and society in which you live and participate. We all hope that virtual graduations in future will be seen as a rare event. However, you have participated and succeeded in a remarkable pioneering achievement as we celebrate triumph over adversity. Congratulations and our very best wishes go with you for your continued success, wherever you may be and in whatever you choose to do. Good on you. Dr Spencer, I now invite the following senior KOI members to present to you graduates of today's ceremony. Dr Graham Salter, Vice President, Academic. Mr Chandra Sindaresan, Vice President, Student Affairs. Dr. Ekaterina Todorello, Deputy Vice President, Academic. Dr. Spencer, I present graduates in the degree of Master of Professional Accounting. Dr. Spencer, I present Gurwant Singh. <laughs> Mohammed Martin. Mohammed Zubar. 
Mukesh Kumar. Rajwant Kaur. Ramanjeet Kaur. Ravinda Kaur. Sandeep Kaur. Surinder Kumar. Sia Frida. Syed Hafez. Bawana Adhikari. Samita Adhikari. Samjana Adhikari. Saurav Adhikari. Uma Ahmed. Abu Afrook. Ankush Singh. Angelica. Sumit Ariel. Stephanie Aurelia. Muhammad Awais. Chidani Awal. Pragya Awal. Asmita Baidawa. Layata Bedracharya. Rashmi Bedracharya. Amar Baniya. MD Bapari. Muhammad Bashi. Govinda Basnet. Rabina Basnet. Sarupa Basnet. Indu Bandari. Kamal Bandari. Sanam Bandari. Deepak Bat. Prem Bat. Pratik Bata. Boj Batarai. Anjana Busal. Siwang Bhutia. Prakash Bisht. Pratiksha Bista. Swastika Budathoki. Tilak Budathoki. Faisen Butt. Pitamba Chapagain. Akriti Chalagain Budathoki. Tenchopma Kemjong. Sarah Chion. Marif Concepcion. Rabin Dahal. Sabin Dahal. Nikesh Dangol. Nishant Dave. Bidja Devkota. Kenchan Detail. Eric Dimagiba. Ekaterina Dobryakova. Sangat Dulal. Pujan Ge. Trayasha Gamiri. Salasma Gamiri. Suman Gamiri. Aditya Giri. Lata Giri. Rajendra Giri. Ganeshayam Gurung. Himali Gurung. Ramina Gurung. Sabina Gurung. Shanti Gurung. Sonu Gurung. Nazia Haik. Hafiz Haroon. 
Karina Enrique. Prakash Humagain. Saraswati Itani Delacotti. Chandrakant Jeswal Kalwa. Yana Yansova. Minkyang G. Manpreet Joshan. Asish Joshi. Mamata KC. Bijeta Kaki. Janak Kaki. Ranjana Kaki. Sachin Kaki. Sishan Kaki. Siddhartha Kaki. Sima Kaki. Srijan Katawal. Anu Katwal. Gurpreet Kaur. Ajit Kadka. Alin Kadka. Tajendra Kadka. Muhammad Khan. Saraj Karel. Anil Katawada. Bibek Katawada. Pujan Katawada. Shenka Katawada. Dristi Katri. Shakti Katri. Sujan Kim. Anil Chestri. Priya Kanwa. Sulachana Lama. Alina Lamachain. Sangam Lamachain. Fam Lee. Rajan Maja. Harpreet Mahal. Akash Mahajan. Anisha Mahajan. Deepu Mahajan. Manisha Mahajan. Rima Mahajan. Salin Mahajan. Rabina Mahajan Shrestha. Saga Manali. Mushami Mala Kand. Sujata Manandha. Ria Masani. Bavi Metta. Dr. Spencer, that concludes my presentation of graduates for the degree of Master of Professional Accounting. Dr. Spencer, I now continue to present the graduates in the degree of Master of Professional Accounting. Dr. Spencer, I present Abu Bakar Muhammad, Azmat Muhammad, Punam Nagarachi, Deepika Nepal, Pitambar Nepal, T. Nguyen, T. Pong Nguyen, T. Tao Nguyen, Rajiv Oja, Arush Palial, Kirti Pandey, Pravina Pandey, Shoa Pandey, Basant Pariyar, Dewang Patel, Akriti Patak, Bigia Podol, Suman Podol, Kapil Paul, 
Duck Pam. Anamika Pokerel. Shiksha Pokerel. Janaki Pokerel Nepone. Nirmal Podol. Sanjay Podol. Sarusha Pradhan. Anish Prasai. Santosh Pudasaini. Narangiral Punsak. Noman Kayam. Alisha Rai. Nischal Rai. Rita Rai. Sanam Rai. Shristi Rai. Yogita Rai. Sangeeta Raj Banshi. Prapti Rajlawat. Nishchal Rana. Sunny Rati. Bupesh Ray. Dipsamit Ray. Anita Ramanji. Ali Raza. Anuj Regmi Chetri. Tara Rimal. Paul Ruiz. Nil Sapakota. Srijana Sapakota. Yulim Sio. Pratigya Shah. Rabina Shahi. Mini Shahi Takuri. Kipla Shakya. Mega Shakya. Salina Sakya, Shristi Sakya, Ashish Sharma, Sanjeev Sharma, Ashmita Sharma Podol, Supriya Srichan, Arya Shreyasta, Asta Shreyasta, Abhiskar Shrestha, Anil Shrestha, Ashna Shrestha, Bikesh Shrestha, Binita Shrestha, Bishal Shrestha, Demin Shrestha, Asina Shrestha, Kamal Shrestha Milan Shrestha Namrita Shrestha Nisha Shrestha Romi Shrestha Sabina Shrestha Sarita Shrestha Sonia Shrestha Sapna Shrestha Ali Vishal Silwal Bandana Singh Ibro Kim John Sophie Priya Soni Akechia Subedi Akshita Tamboli Amit Tapa Anisha Tapa Ashish Tapa Rajendra Tapa Ram Tapa Sony Tapa Uma Tapa Saroj Tapalia Luis Vega Sujita Wagle Catherine Vijaya Dr. Spencer, I now present graduates in the degree of Master of Accounting. Dr. Spencer, I present Nguyen Tan, Pimathon Sirimanotham. Dr. Spencer, I now present
graduates in the degree of Master of Arts, TESOL. Dr. Spencer, I present Yanhua Han, <laughs> Jessica Visceral. Dr. Spencer, I now present the graduates in the degree of Graduate Diploma of Business. Dr. Spencer, I present T. Fan, Trang Hong, Aman Shilpakar, Richie Titus. Dr. Spencer, I now present the graduates in the degree of Graduate Certificate in Business. Dr. Spencer, I present Victor Inyang, Kawar Nias. Dr. Spencer, I now present the graduates in the degree of Bachelor of Business Accounting. Dr. Spencer, I present Gagandeep Kaur, Gurjit Singh, Jaspreet Kaur, Kushbu, Manpreet Singh, Nishi, Vikas Paul, Winkal Kumar, Yojana Acharya, Bibek Adhikari, Suman Adhikari, Kopila Adhikari, Moshin Ali, Yatin Arora, Sudarshan Basyal, Manpreet Bangu, Prapti Batrai, Sabal Batrai, Sagar Batrai, Rakshia Bista. Dr. Spencer, that concludes my presentation of graduates in the degree of Bachelor of Accounting. Dr. Spencer, I continue to present graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Business Accounting. Ranjit Bahara, Vincent Kandra, Gaurav Chand, Ranjita Chapagain, Niraj Chowdhury, Ashan Chetri, Rosaline Concepcion, T. Ding, Joel Elicosa, Kalpana G.C., Mohan G.C., Deepak Gaizi, Manjita Gautam, Ajay Gimiri, Namrata Gimiri, Muna Gising Tamang, Kavin Gunawan, Anjit Gurung, Ashma Gurung, Son Gurung, Yu He, Saksham KC, Avishek Karki, Bizina Karki, Samir Karki, Sushan Karki, Pritika Karmacharai, Lapjot Kaur, Sandeep Kaur, Susmita Katka, 
Sifat Khan Samir Khand Ashish Karal Samir Karel Sandhya Karel Umar Kasano Ashmita Katri Bibek Katri Samridi Katri Gian Konganigi Naveen Kumar Nathaniel Lazang Pima Lama Kun Liu Oshin Lo Tamang Namita Maharjan Satjan Maharjan Monica Moktan Atif Muhtar Nabdit Nepal Anish Niraula Eka Novianti Buwan Oli Du Pam Bishal Pokrel Kajol Pudel Prabhu Prajapati Bishal Prasai Manoj Poon Nishan Poon Magar Niroj Purkoti Antanas Ratchenka Kajol Rai Kiran Rajali Anusha Ramdam Rashish Regmi Eduardo Ribeiro da Silva Pabita Roca Magar Sahil Saini Gasti Samudra Ashmita Sapkota Shweta Sharma Shezad Doma Sherpa Laki Sherpa Devendra Shrestha Karina Shrestha Ronish Shrestha Sabin Shrestha Reshi Shrestha Ku Sior Asha Simkada Muhammad Sahib Stephen Prajwal Subedi Michael Takano Vinod 
Taman Manoj Taman Sony Taman Manish Tapa Rabina Tapa Roshani Tapa You Twe Dwi Thung Fifi Valinita Bailin Ru Nita Yonchan Shuanze Zhang Dr. Spencer, I now present the graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Business, Management and Finance. Mariana Chervinsky. Zungrok O. Akash Shresta. Fabrian Susanto. Thi Vu. Dr. Spencer, I now present the graduates for the degree of Bachelor of Information Technology. Anmol Hastir. Zen Amir. MD Alom. Netra Basal Raj Gurung Sayed Hussein Anup Casey Asmita Casey Katwal Mohan Katka Amisha Lama Sagar Padel Jarana Rawal Sweksha Shresta Aditya Sigdel Ashutosh Tapa Sonia Tapa Effendi Wijaya Dr. Spencer, I now present the graduates for the Diploma of Accounting. For Nafa Chantalivong, Arju Gurung, Bikesh Gurung, Sunil Karki, Jojana Minano Julka, Dr. Spencer. I now present the graduates for the Diploma of Management. Srijan Raut Dr. Spencer, this concluded the presentation of all graduates. Dr. Spencer, it is indeed a privilege to be able to introduce our occasional address speaker, Emeritus Professor Jamil Salmi. Professor Jamil Salmi is an AIBM Council Director, 
a renowned global tertiary education consultant and advisor over the past 25 years to many governments and leading universities around the world, in over 100 countries and on all continents. He routinely works in English, French and Spanish and is an author of many books and is a former World Bank tertiary education coordinator. Jamil, as he prefers to be called, is Emeritus Professor of Higher Education Policy at Diego Portales University in Chile, South America, and a graduate of the prestigious Executive Development Program on Change Management at Harvard Business School. Kennedy School of Government in the USA 2001 and his many academic awards include a Master of Business Administration from ESEC in France, a Master in Public and International Affairs at the University of Pittsburgh USA 1975 and a Doctor of Philosophy in Development Studies at the University of Sussex United Kingdom in 1981. Dr Spencer, graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Jamil Salmi. A special greeting to all of you who are about to graduate. My name is Jamil Salmi. I come originally from Morocco in North Africa, and I'm talking to you today from Colombia, South America, where I live now. After being the High Education Coordinator at the World Bank for many years, I now work as an independent expert providing advice on higher education development to governments and university leaders all over the world. I also have the privilege of serving as a member of KOI's council. As you are about to start your work life, I thought that it would be useful to ask yourself the following question. What can I do as a young professional to heal our planet? And it seems to me that there are two dimensions that can help you answer the question. What can I do as an individual citizen to construct a better society? And how can I contribute as a professional to make the world a better place to live in? I lived 25 years in Washington, D.C. One day, my oldest son asked me, Dad, who are we? Where are we from? How can we define ourselves? Now, I have to explain to you that he was born in England while I was doing my PhD. He grew up in Morocco, but when he was six, we moved to the U.S. And there he went to the French school. After that, he went to university in Canada and then to Great Britain, where he met his Polish wife. Today, they live in Munich, Germany, where he designs virtual reality video games. So my answer to his question was, we are citizens of the world. Indeed, I am married to a Colombian lady, and my eight grandchildren have among themselves the following citizenships, Morocco, France, England, Germany, Poland, South Africa, Canada, Colombia, and US. In the past 30 years, I have worked in more than 100 countries in all corners of our planet. In fact, when I looked at your countries of origin, I saw that you come from 20 different countries. And I can tell you, that I have had the pleasure of working in all the countries you come from, except one, Laos. But it is definitely on my bucket list. The point I'm trying to make is that, after being exposed to so many different countries, cultures, religions, languages, cuisines, I have learned that it doesn't matter how we look, what passport we carry, or to which God we pray. The most important thing is our common identity as human beings, as people who think, who are creative, who are empathetic. This means that for me, respect and tolerance are the most important values to get us in our life, 
to be a good family member, to be a good citizen and build together a better society. Some of you may have heard of Vaclav Havel, a Czech writer, dissident under the communist regime and first president of the Czech Republic after the fall of the Iron Curtain. Vaclav Havel gave a speech at the Hall of Independence in Philadelphia, in the US, saying, and I quote, In today's multicultural world, the truly reliable path to peaceful coexistence and creative cooperation must start from what is at the root of all cultures and what lies indefinitely deeper in human hearts and minds than political opinion, convictions, antipathies or sympathies. It must be rooted in self-transcendence. Transcendence being a hand reached out to those close to us, to foreigners, to the human community, to all living creatures, to nature, to the universe." End of quote. This has inspired my behavior and outlook in both my personal and professional lives. Stay humble, respect other cultures, and be open to learning from all people, especially those with whom I interact. A few years back, I met the first black US astronaut during a conference in South Africa. I asked him what he remembered from his trips to space. His response was, when you are up there and look down onto planet Earth, you can see the oceans and the continents, but you don't see political borders. They exist only in our minds and on paper. Graduates of KOI, since you have had the privilege of learning with students from many countries, and living in a different country, Australia. I hope that this experience will allow you to remember our common humanity and the need to respect each other. This is the only path to a more peaceful human community. My second set of comments is about your role as young professionals. More than 2000 years ago, the Roman philosopher Seneca said, it is not because things are difficult that we dare not do them, but because we dare not do them, they are difficult. My advice to you, always make sure to share and apply your knowledge for the greater good. When I see the behavior of so-called leaders, during the present COVID-19 pandemic, for example, in the US, in Brazil, or in the UK, it is hard to have faith in our ability to train leaders well and use knowledge wisely as a society. Isn't it ironic to observe that the two countries with the highest numbers of COVID-19 deaths are the US and the UK? the same countries that supposedly have the top universities in the world and the greatest number of medicine Nobel Prize winners. They illustrate sadly the total disconnect between scientific evidence and actual policy. Your task as young professionals, therefore, is to construct bridges between the world of knowledge and the political, social, and cultural arenas. The science fiction novel and movie The Martian imagine how the human race could unite to achieve the scientific feat of bringing back alive a single person left behind far away from our planet. I am convinced that if young professionals like you unite their efforts all over the world, we could find durable solutions to overcome many of the threats that our planet is facing. Hunger, poverty, inequality, disease, and climate change. 
as former U.S. President, Obama said in a commencement address a few months ago, and I quote, This pandemic has woken a lot of young people up to the fact that the old ways of doing things just don't work. That it doesn't matter how much money you make if everyone around you is hungry and sick. And that our society and our democracy only work when we think not just about ourselves, but about each other." End of quote. I would like you to reflect on this observation as a reminder that as young professionals, you all have a heavy responsibility on your shoulders. Not only must you work well to earn a living and provide for your family, but you must also think beyond just making money and always remain aware of the purpose of what you are doing professionally. Is your work contributing to creating a better life for your family, your community, your country and our planet? This means being professionals with a conscience, always remembering the wise words of John Gardner. In questions of mind, there is no medium term. Either we look for the best or we live with the worst. KOI graduates of October 2020, may you enjoy a happy life as individuals. May you behave as respectful citizens and may you be successful as professionals. You are the future intellectual leaders of your community. Whether you live in a small town or a big city, whether you were born in a small country or a big nation. So, you must accomplish this goal with the highest standards of professionalism and integrity, meaning always being honest, fair and generous with those whose life opportunities are more constrained than yours. May your path of life be full of joy and meaning. Professor Salmi, Jamil, your address to our graduates today carries considerable significance as you exemplify the global citizen descriptor and represent the very best in higher education in our changing world. We're experiencing the significant turmoil in difficult and challenging times caused by this world event that has required us to have this virtual graduation ceremony. You have inspired us by your example to stay humble, respect other cultures and be open to learning from all people with whom you interact. This could be a charter for our global citizens. Dr Spencer, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, Please join me in thanking Professor Jamil Salmi. I would now like to introduce Emeritus Professor Dr. John Loxton, Chair of the Academic Board. Dr. Spencer, it's my pleasure to introduce the awards for outstanding academic performance. KOI is proud to celebrate the achievements of all its graduates who receive their degrees and diplomas today. We make special recognition of those graduates who have achieved outstanding academic distinction at the top of their class. I'm very pleased to announce the awards for outstanding academic performance. The award for outstanding academic performance for a bachelor degree graduate goes to a graduate in the Bachelor of Business Accounting who has achieved seven distinctions and 11 high distinctions in the course of his degree. The Award for Outstanding Academic Performance in Undergraduate Studies for 2020 Trimester 1 is given to Antonis Radchenko, <laughs> Bachelor of Business Accounting. The Award for Outstanding Academic Performance for a Master Degree graduate goes to a graduate in the Master of Professional Accounting 
who achieved one credit, five distinctions, and ten high distinctions. The award for outstanding academic performance in postgraduate studies for 2020 trimester one is given to Saya Frieda, Master of Professional Accounting. <laughs> Students at KOI make outstanding contributions and achieve distinction in many ways. We are very proud of the work of the group of students who volunteer to lead the KOI Student Society with its mission to enhance the quality of student life, education and participation. Kreshi Sresta has been an active member of the KOI Student Society and was a member of its executive in 2019 and 2020. She was the student member on our Student Engagement Committee, which oversees student retention and engagement on behalf of the Academic Board. Kreshi was also one of the star players in the KOI orientation video, which showcases life at KOI as an introduction to new students. Kreshi has just graduated with a Bachelor of Business Accounting degree. I welcome Kreshi Thresta, Bachelor of Business Accounting, to speak on behalf of the graduates. Dear graduates, it is an honour to be a part of this celebration, 20th graduation ceremony of King's Own Institute. Firstly, I would like to congratulate all the graduates for accomplishing their respective degrees. Also, I am thankful to all the parents who have supported us in this struggling period of our life and who are always going to be there to cheer us for upcoming steps. Although we are graduating in this pandemic situation, attending a virtual ceremony, which is the complete opposite of what we had imagined. Remembering the time when we first joined KOI, we all joined with the dream of completing the degree with pride. Walking on the graduation stage in front of a big audience, including our family members, making them proud. While getting photographed, holding out the test and more. Now, Let's look on the brighter side. We have passed through another stage in life where we were squashed between work, study, assignments, and of course, breaking studies. I guess, which was very less for us. KOI is a platform where we made immense memories, great friends, and never ending friendship. When I say great friends, I would like to mention Asmita Casey, Niros Burkoti, Mono Stamang and Isan Shresto for always being there for me through thick and thins. I can never forget going out for dinner in the name of doing group assignments or going out for drinks after the last examination. Besides the degree, KOI has given me so much more. Being a part of the student society, I got opportunity to make new friends, organizing social events, attending student society meetings, and having never-ending discussions. I would like to thank Sean O'Hallon, Mustaba Jaidi, Tim Kratsky, Shaden Sherpa, and Preeti Rani for making my college days a platform to make myself as strong as I am. Involving myself in the student society meetings and events has helped me to organize myself, build up relationship, and work in teams. I would now like to end my speech with the quote dedicated to all the graduates. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. That now concludes today's ceremony. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our special guests, our graduation team, but most of all, thank you.